Well, the weather forecasters promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. It's Crawley Town, and they face Hull City. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, they're playing with two up front, but they have different roles. The main striker has to use his pace to run behind the defence. The second striker is trying to find pockets of space to receive the ball and get himself turned. It's a good combination, I think. And this is how the starting lineup looks for Hull City. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And this confrontation is underway. Ozan Tufan. Well, a stylish moment. He has time to play it over. Firing it towards goal. The save was a good one. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, capable of a better clearance than that. Tremendous block. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Well, so many positives where the hosts are concerned. And one positive, Stuart, is a watertight defence. Well, they've been so solid at the back, whether it's in front of their own fans or away from home. I think it comes down to communication. They're just so well drilled and organised. Hopefully for the neutrals, they do concede the first one today. George Baldock. Alex Lopez. And now Quinones. Well, not a cross that will live long in the memory. Goal kick. Well, there's been a lot of speculation as regards this transfer and whether it would go ahead. It's finally been confirmed, Stuart. Well, he's certainly got ability. A lot of clubs have been in for him, but now he needs to fulfil that potential. He might just have to be patient, though. And a goal update to bring you in the Palace game. Let's join Alex Scott. It's a goal from Palace. They're the first on the score sheet here with 13 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. And the corner has been given. And over it comes. And defending right on the line. Well, no end product. Tellez. Oh, he saved it well. Oh, 
delivering it and no problems at all for the keeper and passing it well Estupinian well that's how to keep the opposition at bay the defenders know you can't really allow space like that Conrad de la Fuente Tellez must score and a simple clearance a good one Ozan Tufan. Moving it forward. Well, couldn't keep it. Ozan Tufan. Sebastian Cordova. Alex Lopez. It did look on for them, but not to be. Right over to Alex Scott for an update. There's been a goal, Alex, at the Riverside. It's a goal for Middlesbrough. It's now 1-0 with 38 minutes on the clock. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Just the challenge that was required. Alex Lopez. Well, oh, they're sitting ever deeper. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Baldock. Oh, just the kind of save every goalkeeper would expect to make. Well, totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Great ball over the top. Chance here. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. Who's going to get on the end of it? That is that for the first half here. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. Could be threatening. Well, he had a bit of work to do in getting to that through ball, the goalkeeper. And well, the keeper not thinking it through. Tufan. Just hearing something has changed at the Riverside. A goal has been scored there, Alex Scott. Yep, second one for Middlesbrough. They're ahead by two now. With... And he might be in here. Great moment. Well, fine hold-up play here. Just knocked it out of there. A championship match that should hold plenty of intrigue. Join us on EA TV. It's Crawley Town against Charlton Athletic. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes, finally. Conrad de la Fuente. And apologies to Alex for having to cut her off. To confirm, Middlesbrough did score in that game. And their advantage at the moment stands at 2-0. And a fine cross. 
A decisive clearance it was. Ozan Tufan. Not to like about that pass. The delivery. A really meat and drink to the keeper under the circumstances. Quinones. Ball played nicely. The supporters want to see him have a go. Oh, in it goes at long last. Deadlock broken. Will that be the one that gives them the win? Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Well, it's a big moment for him. Just needs to get his players refocused now. And they will make the change now. So, underway again here. One nil the score. We're using the space really well, but now can they push on? Just the challenge that was required. Fifteen minutes left for play. Sound piece of goalkeeping. And the ball back with Hull City now. And a goal at Bramall Lane, I'm hearing. Alex Scott can tell us all about it. Yep, yeah, it's a second for Sheffield United. Could the goalkeeper have done better? Yes, but let's not take nothing away from that finish. They've pulled one back with 80 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Opportunity here. Couldn't grab hold of it. But it looked so threatening, but the danger averted. Well, that was the big chance they've been looking for. And that could be the match-winning save. Five minutes left. Baldock. Takes the shot. And they're still in with a shout. Thanks to the keeper just then. Well, that's a really important save. But can they get back into this match? I'm not sure they can. Well, the decision they have made is to make a triple substitution. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, the danger is still there. Lukas Gürtler is protecting it well. Gürtler. Opportunity here. Oh, blocked it. And the referee doesn't hesitate. That is a spot kick. And this might mean job done. And the keeper denies them from the spot. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, once again, they were so solid defensively. And of course, the back line get a lot of credit. 
but the players in front of them work so hard to close the opposition down, it just makes the defender's job that much easier. It's another clean sheet. 